Hello everyone and welcome to our lecture today. Today we are going to cover how to code ICD-10 CM diagnosis codes for the sense organs and respiratory system disorders. So to start, there are some common disorders of the eyes that you might see in your future as a coder. Some of these are cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, conjunctivitis, foreign bodies, and keratitis. Then some common disorders of the ears are otitis externa, otitis media, hearing loss, impacted cerumen, autosclerosis, and Meniere's disease. One thing I want to point out when you're coding conditions of the sense organs, so the ears and the eyes, many of the codes ask for laterality, meaning was it the right ear, was it the left eye, was it bilateral, both the right and the left. So when you're coding these conditions, make sure to look at the documentation and determine which side was impacted, right, left, or again, if it was both sides, bilateral, because many of the codes are that specific in ICD-10. So when we look at the coding guidelines, there are not any coding guidelines for Chapter 8, which is the diseases of the ear and mastoid process, but there are some for Chapter 7, the diseases of the eye and adnexa. So first we have coding guidelines for glaucoma, then we also have coding guidelines for blindness. Now these are found again in chapter seven under your official ICD-10 CM coding guidelines. Chapter C, the chapter specific coding guidelines. So it's part C and then chapter seven. And there's only a few, there's five for glaucoma and one for blindness. But what I wanted to point out here is that the, the first coding guideline here for glaucoma tells us that we assign as many codes from category H40, which is the glaucoma category, as needed to identify the type of glaucoma, the affected eye, and the glaucoma stage. And then the second guideline tells us if we're coding bilateral glaucoma with the same type, and the same stage in both eyes that there is a code for bilateral glaucoma for the type of glaucoma that says bilateral and then the seventh character of that code will be used to show the type of stage what glaucoma stage is so just make sure when you're coding the glaucomas that you really watch your code descriptions as well as the coding guidelines Okay, let's go ahead and start with our first practice. So in this scenario, we have a three-month-old who was seen in the ER with fever and fuzziness, and the doctor diagnosed the baby with acute OM, which is otitis media. So the first thing you need to do, right, is identify what we're coding. So if we think back to the coding guidelines we've talked about before, remember we do not code a sign or symptom when we code the disease or condition that sign or symptom is associated with. So a baby who doesn't feel good because their ear hurts is gonna be fussy and have a fever. So fever and fussiness are considered signs and symptoms inherent with a baby having an acute ear infection or otitis media, right? That's what otitis media is. So all we're coding in this scenario is the acute otitis media. We don't code fever and fussiness in addition. So to find this code, remember you identify your main term, which is the noun, the condition. It's not an anatomical site. So the noun or main term in this, con this scenario is otitis. So open up your ICD-10-CM index to O, to otitis, and then we're gonna go to otitis media. Media is a subterm indented under otitis. In my book, I'm on page 243 in the index. And then under media, we can find the subterm acute because that tells the specific type. 
So then we're going to go to acute and you guys should see H66.90. So remember, you always look it up in the index and then verify in the tabular. So now we're going to go to H66.90 in our tabular, which again on, in my book is on page 626. Your book might have a little different page number, but it's going to be the same process. So once you're there, you want to read the code, which our code says otitis media, unspecified, unspecified error. Then you want to look at the inclusion and exclusion notes and see if any of those apply or don't apply. You can see that it says acute otitis media, NOS, meaning not otherwise specified at the top of that category. So we know that fits. Our documentation does not designate if it's the left ear, right ear, both ears. So we're going to make sure we pick that unspecified. So the correct code for that one is the H66.90 otitis media unspecified unspecified ear. Because again, we don't know. The documentation did not say. Okay, our second coding practice. We have a 33-year-old with an infected cyst of his right upper eyelid. He was taken to the OR where an IND was performed on the infected cyst. What codes are assigned? So in this scenario, we have two different things going on, right? We have a diagnosis, which is the cyst, and then we have the procedure, which is the IND, which is an incision and drainage that they did to help treat the cyst. So in this scenario, we're going to have a diagnosis and a procedure. So let's start by going to our CM codebook, and we're going to look up the main term, again, the noun, the condition, which is cyst. So open up your book to the C's in your alphabetical index. We're going to go to cyst. And then once we get to cyst, we're going to go to eyelid because that's where this was, right? It says an infected cyst of his right upper eyelid. I'm on page 79 in my index. So under eyelid, if we go to infected as a sum term, it, it tells us to see hortulum. So because R says it was infected, we're going to go to the cross-reference of the hortulum. So now in your index, go to H and go to Hordlum. In my book, it is page 171. Once we get there, we have to identify what eyelid and then what portion of that eyelid, upper or lower. And ours is the right upper eyelid. So under Hordlum, I'm going to go to right and then upper, and you should see H00.011. So now we're going to verify that code in the tabular. So we're going to go H00.011. Which is on page 584 in my book. Again, you're going to verify that. Make sure there's not any includes or excludes notes and that that code description matches our scenario, which it does. So our diagnosis code is H00.011. Now, the second part, we need to do our procedure. Remember, when you're doing PCS coding, we identify the root operation first. So the root operation for this IND is drainage, right? Incision and drainage. So we're going to go to D to drainage, and then drainage of what? What are we draining? We're draining the eyelid, right? So once we get to D to drainage, go to I and eyelid, which is page 49 in my PCS book. 
So once you go to drainage, eyelid, and then it was our upper right, so we're gonna go to upper right is indented. You should see the characters 0, 8, 9, N. So now we're gonna flip to table 0, 8, 9, N. which is on page 291 and 292 of my book. So character N is in more than one row. Remember when we're coding ICD-10 PCS, we have to stay in the same row. So we need to identify what row we need to be in. So again, I like to do just a rule of elimination by going through the characters. So if we go to the approach, the character five, our choices are open, percutaneous, or external for the first row and for the second row. So that doesn't really help us out because the character we need, which is open because our, our procedure was an incision, so we know it was open, is in both. So now let's move to the device, character six. The first row that has our body part four has zero for drainage device and the second row has Z for no device. Well, ours does not have a drainage device, right? They did not put anything in to drain out the fluid. They just made an incision and then drained it that way. So we know we're not going to use the first row because we did not put in a drainage device. Remember, a device is something that's put in and left there, which that did not happen. So we're going to do the second choice, the second row we're in is. So our fifth character we know is open for a zero. Our sixth character we know is no device for a Z. Now we only have to pick our seventh character, which we can pick diagnostic or no qualifier. And diagnostic, remember, is when they take something out and send it to have it looked at. That is not the case for our scenario. So we are going to pick X. Nope, we're not. That doesn't apply, right? That's diagnostic. So our choice is Z, no qualifier. Diagnostic is if they biopsied something or sent the tissue to a pathologist to have it looked at. Our scenario did not say that. So we are assigning the code Z. So our two codes, our H00.011 for our diagnosis of the hordlum or the infected cyst, and then 089N0ZZ for the incision and drainage of that. Now, we will start stop here, and then I'll do a second video for part two of how to code the respiratory system.